Previously we learned how to solve simple trigonometric equation, and we said that the trig function plays the role of the unknown here. Now we are going to study quadratic trigonometric equations. Let's have a look at this example. For cosine squared theta minus 3 is equal to 0. How do we solve this trig equation? To solve this trig equation, remember that the trig function plays the role of x. So, solving this trig equation is the same as solving this quadratic equation. And to solve this quadratic equation, we undo every operation with x. We first undo subtracting 3 by adding 3 to each side after that we undo multiplying by 4 by dividing both sides by 4 and finally, we cancel power 2 by taking the square root of each side. The same thing we will do with the trig equation. So, adding 3 to both sides gives us this. And dividing both sides by 4 gives us that. And taking the square root of both sides gives us positive and negative root 3 over 2. So, cosine theta could be equal to positive root 3 over 2 or negative root 3 over 2. Remember to solve trig equation, we need to find the measure of angle theta within the on full period. Let's ask ourselves what angles whose cosine is positive root 3 over 2. The angles whose cosine is positive root 3 over 2 exist in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. So, the angle are 30 degrees and negative 30 degrees, which is 330 degrees. Again, what angle whose cosine is negative root 3 over 2? The cosine is negative in the second and third quadrant. So, the angle is equal to 180 minus 30 and 180 plus 30. So, the two angle whose cosine is negative root 3 over 2 are 150 degrees and 210 degrees. Let's have a look at this example. Solving this trigonometric equation is the same as solving this quadratic equation. How can we solve this quadratic equation? We can solve this quadratic equation by factoring. The trig equation is solved in the same way by factoring. How do we factor this quadratic? We factor sine squared into sine theta and sine theta, and then we look for two numbers whose product is 2 and their sum is 3. These numbers are positive 1 and positive 2. And then we divide both by 2, and this gives us 1 here and half there. Setting each factor equal to 0, we get sine theta equals negative half or sine theta is equal to negative 1. Now what angles whose sine is negative half? The angles whose sine is negative half exist in the third and fourth quadrant. And the acute angle whose sine is half is 30 degrees. So, the two angle whose sine is half are the reflection of 30 degrees in quadrant 3 and quadrant 4 which are 180 plus 30 and negative 30 degrees. These angles are 210 degrees and 330 degrees. Similarly, sine theta equals negative 1. What angle whose sine is negative 1? The angle whose sine is negative 1 must be quadrantal. It is 270 degrees. To sum up, Trig equation are algebraic equation in which the variable is a trig function. Solving trig function is the same as solving algebraic equation. In both cases, we look for the value of the unknown, but in trig equation, we need to find the possible values of the angle theta. Trigonometric equations are easy till now, but it could be a little bit complicated when identities involved as we will see next.